One game my students are always looking forward to playing or and always asking to play is Blue Kit. Blue Kit is one easy way to gamify your classroom so you can bring that unique learning experience into your class, make learning engaging so students want to come back. Blue Kit is the easiest way. So what Blue Kit is, is a uh, a game where students have to answer your questions in order to play another mini game. They're playing against each other, but it's not based off of time. It doesn't matter how fast you answer the question, how many you get correct. There are other elements that play into these mini games, so other students can win, not just the fastest ones. That's one of the reasons I love Blue Kit. So I'm going to show you how to use Blue Kit right now. To create a game, you have a couple options. You can create your own questions and right here, title your, your Blue Kit Math Facts um, and then add questions. You can have four questions, two for sure, and these ones are optional. Type in your question. We'll just do an example here. And then make sure you click that right the question that is correct, and then you can add an image to it, you can add audio to it for your students to listen, you can add those math symbols, which personally is my favorite, and then you're gonna click save, create as, oops, here's our, our uh, this is just an example, so we can go fast, 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 um, and show you how to use this. So add as many questions as you would like, Gear it specifically for the content you are teaching. Or you can search Blue Kit for pre made games and see if any of them match what you are doing. So, say you're teaching about the states. Let's see what pops up. Here are 50 questions. You can click out, you can preview it, show the answers. Alabama. Where is, or what is the capital? If this fits your fancy, go ahead and host the game. Now here is the coolest part because these are all different games you can play with your students. And if you click on the game, it gives you a quick description on what you have to do to play this game. So you can share just a couple, give your students say a couple of options Tell them what this game is about and have them choose. You can have a game already pre-picked that will work well with your class. My students' favorite classes I see are Crypto Hack. They absolutely love Crypto, crypto Hack. Deceptive Dinos is another fun one. And um, Cafe. Cafe is awesome. And this Candy Quest is my personal favorite. Candy Quest and or it's called a... Gold Quest when it's not themed for the holidays. And then you're gonna click host game. Now here, when you host a game, you do not need to share your screen. That's the beauty. Your students will see the question and the answer right on the device they are, they are using to play this game. So you have, as a host, several options. You can play by time. So if you want to just quick game at the end of class, do a quick game. Or you can play several games during your entire class, whatever you need. Or you can do it after, you know, on a certain game, you get so much money or so much candy or whatnot. Um, and then you have some options down here. Then click host now and your students, you're going to click this copy link and then paste that into the chat box in Zoom. Your students will click on that link. They'll be able to type in their name. They can choose a character, and then you are ready to go. You, on this screen, will see all the students pop up who are ready to, um, who are ready to play. If students want to play on a second device, they don't have to, but if they would, long, if they would like to, then they do have to go to this site, play.bluegit.com, and then type in this code. Either way, I use the join link unless 
a student specifically has their tablet open, they have gone to the site and are ready to type in this code. I just send them the link. Okay, and then you play your game. Using technology and games in your classroom is a surefire way to bring in more bookings because they are, your classes are going to be so much fun, so fun. Students are going to enjoy it and they're going to want to come back to your class. So be sure in the link down below in the description box, be sure to check out my technology toolbox, a guide for online teachers about the technology you can use to create this engaging environment with different technology sites and games. In this um, guide, I show you um, about 10 sites and how to use them, what you can use them for, and I give you several ideas with um, links to get you started teaching with technology, teaching with games so you can do it confidently and be able to do it comfortably. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to check out this next video about Kahoot where I show you how to set it up, and how to play with your students. It is another fun game just like Blue Kit. So I'll see you there. Bye, guys.